All right, so to redirect a user when they pass in a short code uh, into your URL to the full URL, we need to be able to pass this through to the URL, which we've already achieved. So we can just pass that in like that. Then what we need to do is read this within this route here. We have the code just here. Remember earlier we did echo code. So we can see that here. We need to look up this code in our database. If it exists within a record here, we can redirect the user to this URL. It's pretty much as simple as that. Um, the harder part is to actually generate the code, but even that's not that difficult. So what is the first thing we are going to look for within this route? Well, we need to look it up in our database. So remember we use a link because we have a model attached to Eloquent. We already saw earlier how that works. We're going to say where code equals code and we're going to grab the first record there. Now this isn't going to work, remember, because we need to import our namespace and that's under shorty models link. So let's var dump link and see what we get when we pass this code in. We've already seen something similar to this. What happens if we pass a load of rubbish in? Well, we get null. So what we now can do is we can check if link is not null. So if we say, or if it is null, so if we say if not link, so if this is falsy, we can say app not found. So that gives a 404. Otherwise, we can say app response redirect. And remember, this is all coming from app, so this is slim functionality. Link, and then we use this to access the value, uh, the property URL, which is essentially just the column in the database. So let's, before we do that, just kill the page there and dump that URL just so we can see how this works. So here I hit enter, we get the URL back. If I type a load of rubbish in, we get a 404 not found error page. So that is it for getting our code, looking it up in the database and redirecting the user off. Now we're gonna move on to the next part. We're gonna be allowing the user to generate uh, URLs via an API.